Hello again, number three for today, and this is another one sent to me by John. This is an orange fatale. It can't. It doesn't look as dark orange as, as uh, it actually is. Like I'm looking at it on the screen, and it has more of a yellow tint to it. But it's it's pretty orange. It's got yellowish parts to it, but yeah. Um, so I'm gonna destem it and cut it open. We'll see what's going on inside. Oh, looks like it's fairly. Warm. It's kind of hard to. It's contorted shape here, so I'll try to. Kind of pry it open a little bit to show you. Well, this is fairly good capsaicin content. We'll see how it tastes. Uh, seed removal shouldn't take long. There's hardly any seeds in this one. All right, back again with the orange fatale. Uh, there's post seed. It, they had pretty low seed count. I counted 13 seeds in it, so um, yeah, pretty low seed count. So then that's characteristic of different strains of fatale. Here we go. Orange fatale. Thank you, John. Hmm. Sweet. Got the typical fatale taste. Kind of similar to Scotch bonnet, fruity, bubblegum-ish, but does have that grapefruit-like hint to it. Sweet, a little bit tangy, almost salty-like hint to it. Lots of drool. Hmm. Face is warming up. Mm -hmm. I'm pick it up in the throat. Tongue is just ooh, right off the bat. I feel the warmth radiating through my head outward from it into my face. Sorry about that. I had to get my computer's power cord when the battery was running out. So I'm multitasking by saving a movie. Um, it's building pretty good. I can feel the sweat in my face. Throat burn is just ooh, building up to a really really righteous level here. Whole inside of my mouth just boom. <clears throat> I kind of feel a little bit right in here, but not much happening in the mid chest. Way in the lower in the throat. Whew. It's got a good sting happening right in there. This is a pretty warm pot here. I'm getting hot flash from it. Gums are tingling, lips are glowing a little bit whole roof of the mouth, my entire tongue, and there's lots of drool. Yeah, this one's pretty stellar heat. In fact, a lot of punch too for a little one. I mean, I know fatalities are hot, but um, I've had variable heat on them. Yeah, this one is definitely picking up. I'm feeling mellow from this one already. No tinglies or anything. It's not that hot, but definitely feel solid endorphin rush on the lower more mellow end of it the spectrum <coughs> yeah that's a good 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 heat definitely above a habanero I would say by a bit still sweating here every time I touch my forehead now I can feel damp it kind of comes up and then grabs a hold in the throat and then climbs up onto the tongue. And still tastes a little bit of the flavor too. Got that giddy tickly almost going on in the throat. Yeah, this one's this one's a, giving me a hell of a sweat. The drool is just not stopping. And every time I swallow and the tongue touches the roof of my mouth, just whew, feels clamped down by hot iron. Whew. 
I think it's peaked. It's not really getting any worse now, but it's definitely got a good grip happening. Yep, still sweating. Well, if it was warm in here, I'd probably, you'd probably be able to see the sweat on my head. Yeah, this is creeping along at a pretty good level here for quite some time. It's yeah, still whoom, whoom, like whoosh, whoosh from below in my, in my chest up into my throat. And the throat burn is just whoosh. righteous. Very nice. Well, I think since it's clipping along at such a good level here, I'm not going to sit here and drone on with the same one. I will duck out for a five minutes or so later and let you know how it's dissipating. See you in a few. Okay, so I'm back about ten minutes later from the Orange Fatale. I would have been back sooner, but I got a righteous stomach ache. I didn't eat the right kinds of foods. Too much starch and not enough fat. I really had it down to a science with my uh, uh, choices of foods, and I did not abide by that for this one. So there wasn't enough fat in my stomach. I had some popcorn with with uh, butter melted on it, and I had some cereal with half. Or no, maybe I didn't know. I just had almond milk on it instead of half and half. But I was taking sips of half and half between pod tests this morning to kind of reset my mouth a little bit as far as the burn goes. But yeah, I said it was only like um, two minutes worth of stomach pain, but it was enough for me to, I really got a couple more here that I was going to try, but I'm going to go and have a little bit more fatty foods uh, while my son is napping this afternoon and film a couple more and then maybe a super hot this evening. We'll see. We'll see how everything feels with this. So, all right. Thank you, John, uh, for sending me a ridiculously hot pod and not quite a super hot but um, approaching that region I would say um, and caught me off guard <laughs> and thanks for watching I'll see you guys with another one soon